Okay guys, so we are still at Inneslas Boatyard where we are going to do a computer diagnostic of a Mercury outboard. You always wanted to watch that, didn't you? It's pretty cool actually. It's quite interesting to see how they work. Um, it's a piece of kit that we use every day. It's a nice piece of firmware, which uh, you, is only available to Mercury dealers. So it might be quite interesting for you guys to watch. Here it is. So this is the digital adapter. Mercury engines, if I can get the bloody thing off. Very awkward to get to whilst holding the camera in the right place. Yeah, so we're going to plug our laptop into there, turn the ignition on, and then do the swap over. Here's the lappy. The software from Barris, the Mercury distributors, is ridiculously expensive. And the hardware is even more so. So we've just broken our old cable, and this new cable is 1500 quid which I personally think is daylight robbery what do you reckon they say the reason for it is so that uh, dealers don't go buying them for uh, non-mercury agents and uh, subsequently devalue the uh, the value in a mercury dealership which is no small investment really um, you know you have to buy all the software which is the thing that I'm arguing about the price of at the moment and you've got to buy a lot of mercury engines to maintain the dealership you've got to go on the courses and all of that jazz okay so you probably can't see this screen particularly well but Hopefully you can. That's Mercury G3 there. We'll just load that program up. Don't know whether this is coming through on the screen or not. We will soon find out. So it says no module just detected. Let's go and turn the ignition switch on. So, now we go start scan. Bop. And it will find what's on the NEMA network on the vessel. Found item starboard engine. And vessel view mobile. Cool. So uh, then we're going to go next. And we're going to go into configuration. She's done 9.3 hours. Uh, configuration. Set tack link. next so see there where it says analog so what the selling dealer should have done is that so first key off all engines do, 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 do. key off and then it will say key on I know that it does that so I will key on and then that should be it. update saved that's us exit configuration so that's it done oops So now if we sit, look at module data, it tells us the configuration of the tack and the speed and the virtual view, view mobile. That's all done. So we will connect the water next, start the engine, make sure everything's good, make sure it's getting up to operating temperature. I'll leave all this connected so that I can make sure it's good from this end. Come back in a minute when I've got the fuel and water connected. Incidentally, um, while I'm doing these site visits and the how-tos, I'm not sure whether it's of any interest to anybody. Um, if it is, uh, bash the like and make us a few comments. If it's not and you find it boring, tell me that as well. But be constructive. Looks like the trim needs calibrating. So we'll 
calibrate the trim. In the meantime, we just want to make sure that the engine's running okay. Got a good water supply, although we've not had the gearbox off, so that doesn't matter. I'll just check the gear shift operation. Should be forward gear. Yes, it is. Oops. Reverse. Good. Engine stop. Kill cords working. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to calibrate that trim now. Right, guys. So I messed up, obviously got to be human error it always is with computers uh, I didn't have the engine trimmed all the way down when I first set to digital send so I've got to go through the recalibration process so we all make mistakes don't we so we're gonna move it back to analog Bop. next could you turn the ignition key off please and back on Okay, and then we'll reconfigure, swap it back to digital, key off please, and back on, and that should now have the trim showing correctly exit configuration let's have a look at our module data now live data and we should show trim level zero trim position yeah so what have we got on our trim position there now zero zero perfect so if you want to just trim it up now it should start reading if you look up there so configuration is now complete need to put this little termination resistor back on click Get the covers making sure that we've not got anything in the way of the, the mounting points Everything's corrosion guarded, everything's greased. We've greased the thermostat screws. We've greased up the tilt tube, steering tube, gear oil, prop shaft grease, engine oil, grease the moving parts. Happy. Happy, happy. Okay. So we're done now um, I hope you enjoyed that if you did let me know if you didn't let me know and uh, subscribe to us if you like watching uh, this kind of content we also do how to's boat launching uh, anchoring um, how to trim your engine we've got some videos on that coming up uh, what to do when your engine's been in salt water um, loads of interesting videos ho hopefully interesting um, with a little bit of fun as well along the way so if you liked bash the like uh, if you didn't leave us a comment and uh, subscribe and press the bell thing so that you can uh, get notified when we've got some more stuff so from Inneslas Boatyard and this beautiful Zodiac 550 open uh, I'll see you next time thanks guys for watching